Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now this video is a little bit different, it's more of a tutorial video. And the tutorial I'll be showing you guys today is how to install LSPDFR. Now this is not a very lengthy video, this is just going to be a very quick 10-15 minute video on three parts. It's going to be installing the basic LSPDFR, installing plugins, and installing uh, cars and add-ons to the game. Uh, so with that being said, if you guys do enjoy this or does, do find this helpful, make sure you guys leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new here. But let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your files downloaded. So everything I link below in the description will be what you are going to be seeing here. And also I'll link some other stuff below. But uh, once you have your basic LSPDFR installed, you drag it to your desktop, open it up here. We can move this over to the side. You can see it's got Rage plugin hook and everything you need in there. Uh, you can just move that over to the side. Then you're going to want to navigate to your downloads folder. So for me, I'm going to go this PC, E, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. And you see I've got everything already installed in here. So I'm not really going to mess with that. Open up my LSPDFAR folder. Uh, if I were you, I would do the manual install. I don't really trust the automatic install. Put these side to side. Now all you're going to do is right click, left click your mouse, highlight over all this, and then you can let go. And then you're just going to left click it again, and you're just going to drag it over, and you're just going to drop it in there. That's all you got to do. And once you do that, then the your main LSPDFR is installed, just your base LSPDFR with no plugins or any of that stuff. Uh, if I were you, I would go in and um, run Rage plugin hook and run lspd for all together get everything loaded up and uh, stuff like that and um, once you finish that and once it loads and everything's working great then we can move on to the next step but if I were you again I would just go in and just run base lspd far get your character set up your uh, force duty get everything make sure nothing crashes basically and then we'll add the plugins uh, also you can go over into keys and you could just modify these so if I don't want the to toggle doo doo key, I can just hit backspace and then hit file and then I can hit save. Obviously for me, I can keep those there. These are just keys if they overlap with your uh, plugins. So with that out of the way, now we have some basic stuff we're going to install. So some basic plugins or well, plugins that are probably needed that you probably want to use is uh, ultimate backup. That'll be linked below. So with with installing plugins, mainly you're just, they're usually going to come with readmes, so you can go ahead and we can read this. Bunch of crap right here that you don't really need to read until you go down to the how to use. It tells you what keys to hit. Um, it also tells you if you want to edit some of the XMLs. Totally up to you. You can uh, scroll down. There should be a how to install. Oh, these are just a bunch of other uh, information and stuff like that. These are all bug fixes. There should be a how to install. If you go to file, you can just hit find, install. There should be a or how to. That's a how to use installation. Here we go. So yeah, it's just going to tell you you're going to copy the contents of plugin, which is right here, and you're going to put that into your directory, and it should create a folder once you. And also, you'll grab that. Uh, would you have a base stock folder after installing LSPDFAR? You're not going to have a plugins folder already there. So when you drag your first plugin that comes with a plugin folder, you're just going to drag them over and it'll automatically throw the plugins folder in there. And then that'll start your different plugins you're going to add. And then your Ra Rage Native, you can just drag that into your directory. So basically, I'm going to act like I was brand new and I'm going to act like I don't have this installed. I'm just going to move these side to side right here this a little bit closer. I usually drag it in this white space. Just highlight over these two things and then just drag it and drop it into there. And if you want to change the keys for that, you're just going to the LSPD or you're just going to go to uh, plugins, LSPDFR, and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find what did we install? Ultimate backup. You're going to go down here to ultimate backup configuration setting. Open it up here, and here you can just change all of your different keys. So if I don't want it on B and I want it on V, I would just hit backspace V, and I hit file and save. But for here, I want it on B, so I'm going to hit no, don't save, and then boom. Uh, stop the pet is also another good one. 
uh, we'll move it over here same process make sure you back out and go to your directory same process stop the ped grab both of these and then drop it in there and then again you can change your configuration for there and then for callouts it's basically the same thing callout packs are same thing directory super callouts again plugins native drag and drop these do all of these do come with readme's in case you forget how to install and it also tells you for the recommended with this plugin that you use stop the ped which is what we just installed and then uh the computer system computer light same deal plugins drag into your directory right here and now if you want to install the extra charges uh you'll see when you download this you'll see charges xml and citations xml same process here it's a little bit different for here you're just going to go into your plugins folder lspdfr computer light and then you're just going to drag and drop those into there and because you see it'll replace these charges and citations you'll just hit yes i want to replace and it'll just put like a new set of different citations and charges. Let's see if I can find some other stuff for you guys to install just to help you out uh, real quick. Another important one I did add here, uh, ELS, so basically like your police lighting system. Same thing, you open it up here. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier, I believe. You just go to installation files, Grand Theft Auto, uh, and you're just going to go and drag all of these it to your directory same thing drag and drop and it is going to create a ELS file up here and when you place all your I'll show you how to do that later when you place all your ELS but basically it'll all be in your pack default right here same thing uh, that's good to go and then I've got uh, count some more callout packs same thing installation file this one has both of these in here you don't have to open these files or anything you could just again drag plugins and lspdfr into your directory and that'll install it uh, same thing with county callouts plugins drag and drop so that's all you really do when it comes to plugins uh, which is like scripts and stuff like that now some some uh, plugins you install might ask you to create a scripts folder so for instance I have a scripts folder for this radar so all you do is you just right click click new folder you add a scripts folder and then when you read the readme it'll say okay you need to place these configuration files and application extensions into the script folder very simple stuff okay now let's go ahead and get to the last part which is installing cars which is not my favorite but we'll get through it okay so before we continue into installing cars it's important that you have OpenIV installed and it's important that you create a mods folder in your directory so to do that you're just going to open up your directory here right click new folder you're going to put mods for this it's already did that as you see it's right there so we'll delete this folder that i have here and then you're going to want to copy update and 64 from here so you can do this option or you can hit copy and you can do this option where you paste it into there but for me what I like to do is I like to just take update 64 highlight over it and then move it into my mods folder and then drag and drop but we are not going to do that because I've already done it but that's for you guys so make sure once you guys have a mods folder you have update and 64 in here so that when you go to open IV on this side right here you want to hit edit mode and you go to your mods you'll have it right here you never want to install cars into these two folders always install it into a mods folder uh, and if you want to, you can also create a backup GTA directory if you play online. Because if you have some of these mods and you go and play online, it's and you have modified RPFs and all that stuff, it's probably you have a risk of getting banned from GTA Online or just not even loading in. So make sure you create a backup of your folder. And all you do to create a backup is just literally go to your directory before you even add all these mods. You just go to your uh, Steam library, your Steam apps, common. GTA 5, go to your GTA 5 directory when it's clean with no mods in there or anything. You can just drag this and you could just uh, copy it all and, and basically repaste it and then just name it GTA 5 clean. And then you can run, and then when you have GTA, you could type GTA 5 modded for another folder so you have different copies of the game basically. Okay, installing cars. Let's go ahead and get a car pack. Okay, so the car pack I have is a State Trooper SRT Hellcat. 
Uh, same thing, you can just drag it over to your desktop here. Now I'm going to go slow for this one, okay? So it's important that you, when you see a lot of these folders, don't get intimidated. Uh, some of this stuff is, isn't really needed, like information that's just uh, different stuff on YouTube videos and things like that. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, though, is going to find your State Trooper uh, Hellcat right here. Open up the README. Um, it should tell you here. Well, this guy says back up your files first and all that stuff. Go ahead and open up this trooper thing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, open this up so you have police 4, police 4, YTD, and police 4 underscore high. And you're going to want to just drag those to your desktop like this. Or, again, you can just keep it in the folder and that'll work too. If you don't want them to be in your police 4 slot, you can rename them. So if you want it police 3 instead, you can rename it police 3. But you just got to make sure that you go into your uh, vehicles meta and you also change it to police 3 or the hand in line to police 3 so we'll just leave it police 4 because that's the easiest thing to do is just to leave these as they are and um, so the first thing you want to do is once you drag those over to your desktop go to mods update 64 DLC packs for me I'm gonna scroll all the way down to patch day 22 DLC RPF 64 levels GTA 5 vehicle RPF so once you're in here you'll see all the vehicles and stuff like that you see I already have police for sheriff I already have these installed but once you open up once you get into here make sure you have edit mode turned on also we I should have mentioned this before you begin make sure you have all these installed right here uh, ASI it should prompt you to install those once you start make sure you get all those installed if you don't have open IV already installed you're just gonna drag these from your desktop you're gonna highlight over them you're just gonna drag them and you're just gonna drop them straight into your uh, into your vehicle RPF right here that you have open once you do that you're all set here you can delete these don't need those anymore you can back out so that's already installed now some of these come with a uh, handling line so uh, basically this one says meta super fixed handling it's not I mean you don't have to install this but it's it's uh, probably a good thing if you install it if not your car might flip around and stuff like that so he does have a tutorial here so this video copy this here bring this up to Chrome you can just hit enter We'll mute that video so I believe in here it says mods update update RPF common data levels GTA 5 so you can copy that video but basically all it is is mods update update RPF common data levels GTA 5 and then you'll have your you should have your vehicles dot meta which is right there I'm just going to drag this over to here vehicles now if you haven't you can open it with notepad which is advised so then we'll just leave that here and then we'll open the click me right here so we have two different folders now you're not going to need everything here for the most part all I do to simplify it is I just go ahead and I hit view or I hit edit find and remember it was police 4 so you're just going to type police 4 enter scroll up to where the police 4 is highlighted right there so this is scroll down you're gonna go over here you're gonna see handling line ID that's all you need you're just gonna copy what's in here copy you're gonna go down to handling ID now this this for you is gonna say police four or it'll say police T or whatever police one uh, it'll say something completely different for you but you're gonna want to just basically uh, delete that and you're going to go over here again copy this handling ID and you're going to put it into this handling line on your vehicles meta just hit control V save and then boom you're done there and then you're going to exit out of this and then all you're going to do is you're just going to drag this back into here let go and then boom it is you are done installing the handling line it's that easy now the last thing you have to do let me go ahead and get rid of this I don't need it you can now close out of open IV 
and you're going to want to go back to your directory. And remember that ELS folder we installed? Right here, ELS, pack default. Go back into your folder here, State Trooper, ELS. Now you have different ones. Custom ELS lighting, which there's a tutorial on how to do all that stuff. For me, I just do the regular ELS lighting, and I just drag it, and I drop it into there. Just like that. For me, I'm just going to hit X on that. And boom, that's how you install a simple vehicle. Now, some of these might not have handling lines. They already have handling lines built into the RPF. So, again, when you come over here, you probably don't even need to go all the way to the vehicles on Meta, only if they come with one. But most of these already have handling lines in here for this. This one just didn't. But uh, if they already have handling lines in there, and all you have to do is just copy the ELS and the uh, police or the sheriff, some of them say sheriff, some of them say FBI, all you have to do is just basically just copy that into your vehicle's RPF, which is, again, as I'm showing you on the screen here, DLC 64 levels, GTA 5, vehicle's RPF, you just got to drag them and drop them there. Uh, some of these, again, some of these don't come with, um, some of these don't come with these handling lines, they already have them built in, so then you wouldn't even have to do this whole copy and paste thing. But once you do that, you should be set to go into GTA 5 uh, LSPDFR. Make sure that you load uh, everything correctly. Make sure that you have Rage plugin hook uh, already set up. Uh, again, you should have already done this before we even did all the plugins to make sure it worked. But if you need help with uh, figuring out how to get LSPDFR working once you get in the game, there are videos on YouTube. This was just a basic install video. But with that being said, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.